Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking TVs today. We're going to show you the internal main power board and its purpose. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, check this out. This is the main power board and a lot going on with this board. And this rests inside your actual TV. This connection point right here is what your power cord connects to and then feeds all the way to the outlet. So when your power cord is plugged into the wall, the electrical power comes into this connection and feeds the rest of the board. And all these parts help manage the flow of your electrical power. Connection point feeds to our panel. And then we've got an electrical connection here that feeds power to the main board where we'll talk here shortly about. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like out of the TV. What we'll do next for your convenience is open up a TV and show you how it's placed inside. All right, DIYers, here we are with the back panel removed and you can see all the internal parts of your TV. We're going to be talking about the main power board right there. However, I want to talk about a few things real quick. You got your speakers, ribbon wires, Wi-Fi module, IR sensor, power button, your main board, and up to the main power board. Does this look familiar? Yes, it does. This is where you insert and secure your power cord that feeds all the way to your wall mounted outlet in your home. And electrical power travels out of that outlet and through the power cord into this connection and powers up the main power board. And there's a lot going on here. Check that out. Engineering at its finest. What do you think? You got a connection point here that feeds to the outer portion and this connection point and wires feed electrical power to our main board. And a lot goes on when the main board gets its power from the main power board. It then feeds power to the ribbon wiring that feed power to your panel or screen it feeds power to the wires that lead to your speakers and pretty cool speakers. It also sends power to your Wi-Fi module, your IR sensor, and your power button. And a quick explanation of these three right here. Again, this is your Wi-Fi module. And in the event that you are having a really hard time connecting to your internet with your TV, however, every other device in your home is having no problem, chances are you've got a failed Wi-Fi module. In addition, you've got your IR sensor right there and as you know that is your lower sensor at the bottom portion of your tv with that red led light in it that's always on when your tv is off and the second you push the power button on your remote that light blinks and turns off the entire time your tv is up and running and in the event that your remote is not working or you have dead batteries and you do not have replacement batteries on the backhand side, in most cases, you have a power button. Just go ahead and push that and your TV will turn on. You can turn it off by using that push button as well. So hopefully this gives you a much better idea or familiarization of your TV. A lot going on with that power board. Very impressive. And one last thing, scrolling above is a link to a video playlist where we have a bunch of videos replacing parts on a TV. You may find it very helpful. Definitely check it out. From here, we hope the video helps. Hey, do us a favor. Below the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. What we'll do now is resecure that back panel, put everything back together.